We have explained the cell cycle in a previous video. Today, we'll talk about the different types of cells. They can be permanent, stable, or labile cells. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, and let's keep rolling. As you know, the cell cycle has G0, G1, S, G2, and M. G0, nothing happens. G1, we start growing the cell. And S, DNA synthesis. G2, again, we grow the cell with addition of enzymes and microtubules. And in the M, mitosis or the actual cell division occur. So here are the different types of cells. Permanent cells. The name has the answer. Permanent means they do not change. And permanent cells do not divide. So they are always in G0. They are always in the resting phase. They do not divide. So they regenerate from stem cells. For example, the red blood cells do not divide. They come from where? From their great 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 grandparents the myeloid stem cells and these stem cells can divide okay what else we have the cardiac muscles we have skeletal muscles and we have the neurons okay that's why brain damage can be permanent because your neurons usually do not divide stable or quiescent cells they are in the G0, but not permanently like this one. They can get stimulated and move from G0 to G1. So they divide only under certain conditions, such as hepatocytes or liver cells. There is an interesting story from Greek mythology. A story of a guy who stole the fire from the temple of the Greek god Zeus. So Zeus punished him by binding him between two mountains and ordering an eagle to come every single day to eat half of his liver in order for him to suffer. Then the eagle will go back home, the liver cells will regenerate, so this poor guy will have a complete liver again, and the eagle will come next day to eat half of his liver so that torture can last forever. Of course, it's a myth but it has some truth to it because hepatocytes, they regenerate under certain conditions. And if we take like one third or one half of your liver, yes, it can come back because hepatocytes are stable cells. What else? Lymphocytes, proximal convoluted tubules as well. Labile cells, labile meaning that they are not stable. And in borderline disorder, patients have labile mood. So they are never resting. They are never in G0. They have very short G1. So we should draw the G1 not that long. It will be so short because it's always dividing. It doesn't have time to stay in G1 either. Chemotherapy will ruin their days. So labile cells are doomed if we give chemotherapy. Because chemotherapy does not cure cancer, chemotherapy destroy any dividing cells. And since cancer cells divide very rapidly, they are most affected by chemotherapy. And so do these poor labile cells. Since they divide rapidly, they are destroyed with chemotherapy mostly. So, side effects of chemotherapy all are here. You have labile cells in the bone marrow, chemotherapy can cause bone marrow suppression. You have labile cells in your skin and hair, chemotherapy will cause you to lose your hair. Also in the GIT epithelium, so chemotherapy can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. In the spermatocytes or the seminiferous tubules, that's why chemotherapy will make you infertile because these cells divide rapidly, so they are most affected with chemotherapy. These are the different cell types, permanent, stable, and labile. Permanent, they always stay in G0. Labile, on the other hand, they never stay in G0. Stable are the nice guys in between. 
they are in G0, but they can get stimulated and divide and go into the cell cycle, such as the great liver cells from the Greek mythology. I will see you in the next video. Stay safe and study hard.